Tonight I'm going to show you how to install Dell Open Manage Server Administrator, OMSA, on an ESXi host using vSphere Power CLI. I'm installing it on an ESXi 5.1 host and I'm installing the latest OMSA 7.1.0. So once you've downloaded the zip file, you'll need to extract it to a directory, which I've already done here for me. Uh, I have a directory called plugin and I've extracted the OMSA zip file that I downloaded from Dell. Uh, once we have done that, we're going to want to upload that directory into the host local data store that you are going to do the install on. Um, I'm going to do the install on my second host here, ESXi2. So I'll, um, there's several ways you can get to the data store, but uh, right now I'm going to just select that host, go to the summary tab, and in the right hand pane here, I see the volumes that are available to it, the data stores, and I can see the local data store. So we're going to right click that local data store and go browse data store. We're going to hit the upload icon and we're going to upload folder and we want to find the directory which we extracted the zip into, the Dell Open Manage Server Administrator uh, zip. Um, I put it in a directory called plugin so I'm going to scroll down to plugin select the whole directory and say OK and it should just take one moment to put the directory here so now I have the plugin or the uh, uh, OMSA directory uh, with all its contents now on the local data store of my ESXi2 host um, from here we're going to have to do the install. Now that you've completed the upload to the local data store, the directory to the local data store, we'll continue with our preps and then the installation. A um, couple things you need to note to complete the installation is your host needs to be put into maintenance mode. So verify that all your VMs are either off or moved off to another host. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this into maintenance mode. Um, I've already moved any powered off machines to other hosts, so um, give that just one moment. And um, also a couple other things to note is uh, though this name ESXi2 underscore local is the local data store name, it's not the true path that you're going to use for the syntax and I'll show you how to get that. So if you go to home or however you want to get to your data stores um, and you look for the ESXi2 underscore local, that's the local data store. If you uh, scroll over a little bit or uh, come over a little bit you'll see the actual path and the name which is that 4F0. That's long name there. I'll mouse over it and you can see the full name. Um, also what I uh, like to do as well uh, is what we'll do is we'll go over to this is uh, the um, CLI of the actual host the ESXi2 host um, we're gonna go ahead and log in um, and look at that directory uh, to make sure that the um, plugin is there um, so here uh, what we're gonna do is a CD VMFS and then a CD volumes and if we do an LS you'll see again here's uh, the ESXi2 underscore local but again in the uh, when we actually use the power CLI the vSphere power CLI we're gonna have to use this path this 4F 0C 08 and so on um, but for our purposes right now to verify that the directory which I named plugin is in the local data store. We're just going to do, um, we'll go cd esxi2 underscore local and just remember that this is case sensitive so if, if you use the improper case it will not work. Um, so um, now that I've done that you could see that the actual path is once I put that cd to the local data store, it, it, the, 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 the actual path is now listed. So I'm going to do an ls, you should see that plugin directory, which we do. Uh, we'll cd over to the, um, whoops, that directory to verify that the uh, OMSA installation files are there. 
Um, so I'll do an LS of that. And you can see the Ohmsta installation files. The one that you'll be using uh, in the command will be this metadata.zip. So now that we've verified that, we'll go over to our vCenter server and um, start our installation. As you can see, I opened up Notepad. I put the commands that we'll be using today um, in Notepad so I can copy and paste, which you can do as well. And also you can note uh, the syntax that I'm using. Um, of course, once you enter into the installation path, yours will reflect your uh, location and name, um, directory name, and so on. So what we're going to do is uh, launch the Power, the vSphere Power CLI, and we're going to need to connect to the server that we want to do the installation to. So um, you see this connect dash vi server space the IP. I'm going to do a copy there. Uh, and we'll do a paste here just to save time. I'll go ahead and hit uh, enter. Uh, this takes a moment or two, um, and then the um, it'll come up, to, and you'll have to enter in the credentials, but that takes just a moment for that pop-up. So we'll give that a second here. I'll enter in my credentials, and we'll move on to the installation. And here it is, as you can see. Um, it did take a minute there to pop that up, but... Uh, We'll enter in our credentials. That'll connect us to, as you can see, the IP, which is um, this 192.168.1.202 is my ESXi2 host. Um, and now I can enter in the actual installation command. And once I do that, it takes a few minutes. So we'll probably pause the video and then come back to it once it's installed. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Again, um, your path will be different and your IP address here, whatever your host that you're installing to, uh, and then this full path here, this uh, whatever your local data store is, and again the directory. Um, the metadata.zip is the one that you're going to point to for your installation. So once I go ahead and hit enter, it should take a minute or two for a window to pop up saying the progress of the installation, and then it takes a uh, five or ten minutes to, to complete the install. So we'll pause the video at that point and then come back uh, once the installation is complete. As you can see, we did get the pop-up for the uh, percentage and it failed. So let's figure out what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and pause. As you can see, I, I had a failure. Uh, and what that typically means is that you had mistyped it. So after going through um, the command here uh, in the path, um, I did find it, and it's right here. This L should be a 1, and now it should work. I've not tried it yet, uh, but we are going to give it a shot. That's what I found. So we'll go ahead and paste that command back into the uh, Power CLI and hit Enter. Um, as I mentioned before, it will come up with this percentage. It'll sit there for probably five or ten minutes. If it doesn't fail out, uh, if it fails out, it usually fails out rather quickly. Um, so far, it's a good sign. We'll give it another minute or two, and then I'll pause the video and come back and show you that uh, it has completed. Again, it can take up to uh, ten minutes. So we'll uh, and the host does have to be rebooted once the OMSA is installed. Uh, this is all in preps for the. Um, we're going to install the vCenter um, plugin for VMware, uh, which I'll do after this as a second part. Uh, but uh, this looks like it's going to take, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back to it once it's um, completed. Okay, the installation is completed. We're going to go ahead and um, launch the uh, server administrator. This is a download from Dell uh, that will allow you. It's uh, will allow you to um, log directly into the host. Um, since host two is rebooting right now, we're gonna log into host one. Uh, I already did the OMSA install there. I'll go ahead and 
go ahead and put my credentials in and ignore certificate warnings and submit. Um, and this should uh, connect me directly to uh, ESXi host one, as you can see right here, which is a PowerEdge M610. Uh, and you can see all the information that it gives you. Um, system health, firmware versions, uh, software versions, storage, and so on. Um, replaceable units, you have the serial numbers, um, part numbers. Uh, you can do power management, so if you need to reboot that host, you can do so. Um, again, this was a free download from Dell, and it's called Open Manage Server Administrator. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to, uh, which the next video will show you the uh, Dell VMware vCenter uh, plugin uh, that'll allow you, uh, that'll add tabs to vCenter that'll allow you to do all of this and actually more. You can update all your firmware um, all from vCenter instead of logging into separate pieces.